In this video, we will be studying about the merits and demerits of monopoly. First of all, let's study about the merits. See, number one is the high level of skill and efficiency. See, the Indian Railways only have the skills and efficiency efficiency to how to operate the whole system so monopoly if a person is in a monopoly it has a high level of skill and efficiency in the market second is high level of research and development Monopoly firms owing to their huge resources can afford research and development in different areas for the business growth. What will happen? The business growth will accordingly new techniques of production are dis discovered besides new products and new users of the existing product. So, if there is high research and development, you will uh, your new products will be uh, introduced. Right. So, this is the merits of the monopoly. Now, understand the demerits of monopoly. Number one is less output. See, whenever you go and try to reserve the train if you want to travel from let's say New Delhi to Calcutta what do you do through train you need to reserve your uh, seat 3344 three, months before you want to travel so output in the monopoly is always less than under perfect competition right so Yes, it is true, even when both under monopoly and perfect competition, firm equilibrium is achieved when MR is equal to NC. Whereas in the perfect competition, a firm is um, able to adjust its output according to the given prices. But in your monopoly, whatever the prices are, there is no restriction about the output. Uh, you are individual seller in the market so you are free to sell any output in the prevailing prices so there is less output in the market in the second one we have this price discrimination this I have told you in the features of the uh, monopoly then there is the price discrimination in the monopoly market different prices have been charged by the different categories of buyers the third one we have is economic consideration. Now what do you understand by this? Is monopoly form of market encourages concentration of income and wealth. It becomes it gives rise to inequality of income and wealth. It tries to produce for the richer people and does not want to produce for the poor people. They increase the difference between the rich who have the income and the poor have not, which is a social evil. So these are the demerits of your monopoly. I hope you've completely understood the merits and demerits. Please download our scholars learning uh, and enjoy the learning experience with us.